if a whole food plant-based diet can reverse diverticulitis? Oh my, uh, the answer, short answer is yes, it can, but we need to talk about what the condition is. Uh, when we are born and throughout our childhood and adolescence, um, especially if we have been eating a whole food plant-based diet, you were raised on that kind of diet. Again, the gorillas out in the wild there, they're eating leaves and fruits all day. They're passing these large, soft, bulky stools, uh, and they don't get diverticulosis or diverticulitis. Why not? What are we talking about here? Uh, the reason that the gorillas don't and healthy plant eating people don't um, because the, the food mass, the fecal mass that's presented to their colon has lots of uh, soluble fiber in, from the rice and, and beans, insoluble fiber from the salads and the fruits all mixed together and the stool mass is soft but it kind of holds together and it's easy for the intestinal wall to get a purchase on the stool mass and push it through down the colon uh, with very little pressure uh, and uh, have you're able to evacuate this mostly by relaxing the anal sphincter and out uh, comes the fecal mass and pressures don't build up very high at all and uh, you don't get this condition of diverticular which I'll explain now. But if you're eating a standard Western diet and most of your diet is meat and cheese and white bread and cola drinks and pizza crust uh, and cheese, um, uh, there's so little fiber in that food. Man, animal products don't have fiber. Refined carbohydrates don't. Flour products don't have much fiber. And so instead of this big soft food mass that's easy for the cold to get a purchase on, you, the opposite happens. Uh, by the time the, the animal-based food mass gets down to the cold and you're left with these hard little balls of stool, that's difficult for the colon to get a purchase on, push it along, they move through very slowly, uh, and then they can get uh, uh, temporarily hung up in the outpouchings of the colon there. And so the colon needs to really squeeze to get these hard fecal masses moving. And in, in squeezing sometimes so hard, it raises the air pressure in the colon, there's air in the colon, of course, and it can raise up so high that if there's any weak spots in the colon wall in between the muscle fibers, um, the high pressure, just like blowing up a balloon, will whoop, blow out a little uh, outpouching uh, out of the colon wall. And that's called a diverticulum. And uh, each of these outpouchings, if you have lots of them, you have the condition of diverticulosis, just the presence of these outpouchings. Uh, the problem is that fecal material can accumulate in these outpouchings and fester, and they become infected. And then you have inflammation, infection. At that point, the, the diverticulosis, which is just the presence of these diverticuli, now once they're infected, becomes diverticulitis. And, and that's serious. Boy, it hurts. You're on a fever, hurts to move, hurts when you push on it. And if it's not overcome, the, the uh, infection can burrow right through the wall of the diverticulum and, uh, and uh, erode out into the abdomen and fecal material flows out freely into the abdominal cavity. Then you got peritonitis and that can kill you. And so uh, uh, a perforated diverticulum uh, from diverticulitis will put you on the operating table. And if you're not lucky, it'll put you on the mortuary slab. They can, can be serious. So what's the answer? Uh, the answer, you know, and if you've got an acute episode, you need antibiotics and you need to see a, a doctor to care for that. But in general, guess what? It's the food. And as one adopts the whole food plant-based diet and get those rice and beans and greens and fruits and veggies, and you create those soft stool masses that are easy for the colon to push along, guess what? The, the pressure inside the colon drops down. And because there's no more air pressure holding those diverticuli open, zoop, they close up. And uh, the diverticuli can turn into these little tags there, but they basically, they close up. And so yes, diverticulosis, uh, is an eminently reversible condition. And you know, it's just another sign of running the wrong fuel through the engine there. And uh, you know, we use the analogy of if, you're, if you've got a nice gasoline burning engine, but you're putting kerosene, putting diesel fuel in there, it's going to clog up the spark plugs and mess and obstruct the fuel line. And, uh, and 
these diverticuli are kind of a manifestation, another manifestation of the wrong fuel, uh, you know, in, in going through the system. So get get that high fiber, uh, whole food, plant based diet going. Your diverticuli should close up and uh, and answer that question. Can a whole food, plant based diet reverse diverticulosis? The answer: Yes, it can. So uh, take uh, take the lesson that your colon is giving you there, and uh, you know, give it the food that it should be processing. And uh, yes, you can reverse diverticulosis. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.